John Ridley is, again, a, a wonderful, wonderful leader. I remember I had such a lesson from him. Tim, Tim came to the production. I was already there rehearsing or something, and we really went, ah, oh, we found a kindred spirit. We had the best time. And as you walked into the production office in, in Austin, there's everybody's headshots on the wall as you walked in, you know, sort of saying, this is our cast. And as an actor, it's embarrassing. I, I found it embarrassing. So to Tim, you're kind of like, oh, there's my stupid headshot from, you know, mine was, I think, from like 12 years ago. <laughs> and so it's it's a little, it's, it's cringeworthy. And um, so as we were hanging around the production office and rehearsing as the weeks went by, we went, oh, I have an idea. And there was a whole list of people that were supposed to get our, our parts, you know, like, Helen Hunt, and then it went to someone else, and someone else, and someone else, and then it came to me. And Tim's was, I don't know, Daniel Day-Lewis, and someone else, and someone else, and someone else, and then it came to Tim. And we remembered these names. So first, we printed up all the headshots of all the actors that, that were in first position, and we put them under us. <laughs> you know, first came this, then came this, then came that, and Helen Hunt, and then Felicity got it, and Tim did the same thing. And we were like, that's hilarious, it's so funny. <laughs> we put it up. The next day we came into production and it's gone. We went, that's what someone did that. So we printed them again because we were like, we're just shecky. We're shecky green. We're so funny. Did it again. That's so funny. The next day gone. We went, okay, well, someone doesn't like that joke. Some, someone with their, you know, stick up their butt. And then, uh, so we went, oh, I know. Let's deface our headshots because again, cringeworthy. So we went and did like goatees and missing teeth and funny hats on our headshots. Same thing happened. New ones up the next day. Did it again. Same thing happened. New, no, up the ne new ones up the next day. And I was talking to John about a scene, and I went, I know, God, there's no joking in this, in this production office. We did this to the headshots, and then we did that to the headshots. And he went, oh, yeah, I know. And I said, why? He said, I took them down. I had them take them down each time. And I went, why? It's so funny. Who cares? And he said, no, we're a team. We're a team. It's a respectful team. I want people to come into this building and go, those are our players in front of the camera. There are players behind the camera. People don't make jokes. This is serious. And I went, oh, okay. <laughs> but that's what I meant. I mean, he is, he is in a thousand percent and he's willing to sort of throw himself off what is known and proven. And he likes the feeling like it's up in the air. Well, I don't know what we're doing, but it's improvisatory. Let's go. Let's push the envelope. And I have to say, American Crime, over those two seasons, hired more minorities, women, gay, straight, black, brown, yellow, writers, producers, directors, DPs, focus pullers, across the board. And because of that, and I think because of the content and because of the courage of ABC, I, I can't help but think that hopefully American crime is a, you know, the acknowledgement that it's received is a rising tide that lifts all boats.